Hi, this is Michelle with Scrapping with My Bug. Today I wanted to share with you a gift card holder that I made and show you how I made it. I'm not going to go into detail on, you know, what size and stuff. I cut everything, just the, uh, the size and how to make the card holder itself. So this is the front. I use stamps from Pink by Design, the coffee ones. And the saying is from this set. And then I use the beans from her other coffee ones. I use that those beans right there. This is from Love You a Latte Cricut cartridge. And then I added some glossy accents to the steam and added some ribbon. So anyway, here's the little flap, just like a regular gift card would be. And then you open it up and these little slits hold the gift card. <clears throat> and then I have this part down here expressly for you to from and then I added the beans again. This is from the same coffee set and this is from the one with the beans on it. This one right here, the two from is from um, Tags and Treats and it just has a whole bunch of little um, sayings and stuff to give us cookies, candy, you know, gifts, stuff like that. So anyway, um, I just wanted to show you how I made it and created it. Um, you will need your gypsy for this project and a couple cartridges. To create the, the base, though, you'll need the wedding cartridge. And you will also need, for this one, you'll need the Martha Stewart cartridge. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I did do a, a search for a gift card on the Gypsy, and the only two that came out was for the wedding cartridge, and the other one was a Cindy Lou cartridge. But the one for Cindy Lou um, was on the border here. It had like a zigzag border. So if you want that kind of a border, I would just do Cindy Lou, but if you want to change the border, um, you could also do, you know, change it on the sin yeah, when you weld them. But I started with the wedding one just because it was plain. So the gift card holder is in this very last one. And we can just click on it. See that? There's the slits to hold the card. Here's the flap. And here's where you score it. Now I'm going to hide this because I don't want that in there. So let's go back to the screen. And I have figured this out in my head. Um, actually, I, I cut it to see if it would work and then um, adjusted it from there. So you're going to make your gift card holder 4.5 or 4.5. And when it comes out, it will be this size perfect enough to hold the card inside. Um, this is a just a standard gift card and you know it fits in there very well okay so you have this one up you're gonna go ahead and hit the advanced these two little squares down here and this you're gonna be able to hide this so just click see how it's red I don't know if you can see that anyway it's red you're gonna click hide and then you can just click this to go to the next one and it'll be that. Or you can just tap on it and make it red and hide that again. So you've just hid those. You hit OK and you're back to where you want to be. Then to add a border, what I did was I went to whenever I think of elegant, pretty, whatever, I think of Martha Stewart. So I have her elegant cake cartridge and I went ahead and used that one. And look at all of these beautiful borders that you could put on there, on the end of it. So really, anything that you wanted to do, you could do it. Anyway, we're going to use this one. So let me... Oh, I think I just took that off. Okay, sorry about that. I had to um, go back and do it again because I hit the backspace too many times. So anyway, we're doing this one, and I'm going to go ahead and choose it and go back to my mat. And as you can see, I had it highlighted so it made it bigger. Um, on this particular one, 
I'm going to go ahead and make it um, the width of it if you want to do this exact one it's going to be 4.57 and the reason I know that is because I had to play with it for a while um, as you see you're going to have to turn it as well so you're going to go to your advance button again and this arrow one this middle one will turn it and you're going to have to flip it this way because you want it you want the end on the where the tab is so you're going to have to either flip it negative 0.90 or you will have to flip it 270 degrees okay so it didn't take the negative 90 when I punched it in so I went ahead and um, hit 270 degrees and it went ahead and um, moved it or moved it this way so when you add the border you're going to add it to this side so let's hold hold this button in and click it and it'll make your picture bigger and then I'm going to be moving just this one so what I did was I went in a little bit like this so this overlapped that one but that's okay because we're going to weld these together so it won't cut either of those lines but I wanted to give it a nice border from the um, the lip part so right here I'm going to give it a nice border and then what I did if you can see on the back it's all one piece how I connected it together and then what I did was I just took this border part and I cut it again in a different coordinating color and then just trimmed it a little bit with my paper trimmer right there and then I was able to make a separate color which I think looks a lot nicer okay so I went ahead and did that. It might take a little bit of inching to get it exactly lined on there. See, it's not on there exactly. It takes a little bit. There you go. Now the line there doesn't show that there's a line because it's it's never ending there. So just click on that, and you're going to go back to click on that and highlight it then this right here means you're going to weld it together sorry then you're going to have to click on this one and let's bring it back so you can see it click on that one and highlight it the purple and then you're going to weld that one also so when it cuts it's going to cut the entire thing and it's left with um, it's not going to cut those two lines right there now I don't know why this is doing it and it shouldn't be but when I cut this image right here it did not cut the score lines so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to hit your plus button and create a new screen and when you create your new screen you can see this one in the background after you do that you're gonna to have to go back to your wedding cartridge hit this again go back there um, let's see let me zoom this out a little bit so you can okay so we're going to make that four and a half again right make it four and a half and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it over the top and we're gonna line it up perfectly there we go we've lined it up we're gonna go back into our advanced mode and we're going to hide this scroll again hide that and this the big square Okay, you can just click on it till it full goes through. Oh, previous. Oh, 
Okay, there we go. Now it's red. Um, go ahead and hide that, and then you're going to have to hit OK again. So on your first layer is going to be the base with your border, and then the second layer is going to be the cut marks. Now, why they don't cut when you welded them, I don't know. So if somebody knows, please tell me. <laughs> but this is how I had to do it for now. So you cut your layer one, you go in and you cut it just like you normally would, and then do not unload the mat, hit um, return to design, and then you're going to click on layer two and cut layer two, and it will go back and just cut the, the score marks for you. So, um, if you want to change the border, simply just take it off, and I have mine um, saved in here so I don't have to do it each time, so I can just keep reusing the same exact one. Um, I was looking for the Martha Stewart one. There it is. Okay, so if you want to just change the border, you can. I know there's there's borders of skulls and spiders and all this kind of stuff that you could change it to go with whatever theme or holiday that you're doing. Um, this is a really pretty one if you were going to do like a you know, a tea or, you know, a gift card for tea or, I don't know, whatever. Or make it a, you know, girly for a girl or something. Um, the reason I'm, I picked all of this is because it is going to be given to a guy. So I didn't want it to be too girly. I know I'm pushing it with the heart part. But um, anyway, so when it cuts out, it's going to be one full piece. You're going to decorate the front how you want. Decorate the inside how you'd like. Gift card simply fits in there. I cut the extra border to stick on there. You can do it in um, coordinating paper or you can leave it if you want. But um, I want it to be, you know, manly and a little bit earthy and that kind of thing. And you just flap the thing over and that's it. And that's how I did it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to email me. And this is Michelle at scrappingwithmybug.com. Thank you.